Hey, Boomers fans, it's me, Brendan Green, the public address announcer at Boomers Stadium, and I'm reaching out to you Boomers kids who I know are sitting at home doing their e-learning, staying with school, getting their homework done, taking tests online in a way that's different than usual. We thought here at the Schaumburg Boomers we'd send you an e-lesson, just a little bit about baseball, to add on to all that fun at-home learning you're currently doing. This week was, of course, supposed to be our school day game against our dear friends from Gary, Indiana, the Gary South Shore Railcats, and I know we'll see them again soon, just like we'll see you soon. But we thought in honor of school day, we'd send a lesson home to the young Boomers fans. I know a lot of times when you're watching a baseball game, you hear things like E6 or a 4-6-3 double play. What does that even mean? A backwards K, a BB. How do you keep score of a baseball game? Well, I can tell you that in the booth at Boomer Stadium, I've got a lot of very exciting things. I've got some fun tools that help me get through the game. Of course, this one here, my fishing net to catch foul balls. You can't go anywhere without Altoids, of course. Those are mighty important. But perhaps the thing that's most important in the booth for me is this scorebook and this pen. If you have a scorecard, you can recreate an entire baseball game simply by writing down what happened in a little bit of baseball shorthand. Every position on the field is assigned a number. Now, not the jersey number that the player is wearing, but the number of the position that they are playing. So, for, for a baseball game, the nine positions on the field are assigned accordingly. Pitcher is number one. Catcher number two, first base number three, second base number four, third base number five, shortstop number six, left field seven, center field eight, right field nine. And depending on what the batter does, you can then write in your scorebook what that play was. So if a batter, for instance, grounds out to short, you would say it was a 6-3 ground out because he hit the ball to shortstop and the shortstop threw it to the first baseman. If the batter were to fly out to left field, well, you would say that was a fly out to seven because he hit it to number seven. What about a 4-6-3 double play? We hear that all the time. What does that mean? Well, that means the ball was hit to the second baseman. The shortstop was covering second, so they got the ball and they threw it to first. A 4-6-3 double play. But other things happen in baseball besides fly outs and ground outs and double plays. What about things like strikeouts and walks? How do we write those down? Well, a strikeout swinging is represented by a K. A strikeout looking is represented by a backwards K. We like those. Base on balls, a walk, is BB. And an error, as I mentioned earlier, is E, and then the number of the player who committed it. E6 would be an error on the shortstop. E8 would be an error on the center fielder. And these are all just very little things. This is just the start of how you keep score of a baseball game. But we're hoping with just a little e-learning that the next time you're at Boomer Stadium with your family, you might be able to enjoy the game in just a slightly different way. We are so looking forward to seeing you again soon in Schaumburg. We are so, so excited to see you next Friday, May 22nd, for virtual opening night. I'll be there. We'll all be there. And we hope you will be too, because finally, it will be baseball time in Schaumburg. And we can't wait to have you. Kids, keep up with your schoolwork. Parents, we can't wait to see you on Spring and Scuff. We will see you all soon. Take care of yourselves. Stay healthy. And good luck out there.